leading performance this year by Botswana. It was 3.03.75. And if I tell you that that is the best in the world by almost four seconds this year, you will understand how serious this challenge from Botswana against the USA here. India, though, are in two. Trinidad and Tobago in three. That is Jacob Sinclair. He'll hand over to Dwight St. Hilaire, Judah Taylor, and Kashif King. USA have to start as favourites, although they haven't broken 307 yet this year. Champion Allison, Ari Cogdell, Kamari Montgomery, fifth in the individual event, and Wilbert London the third, who was second in the individual event. Japan with uh, Abuchi. He'll hand over to Kitadane, an individual finalist. Then Watanabe and Matsukiya, an individual finalist. Good, strong squad that from the Japanese. Botswana hold the world best. I would put them down as joint favourites, frankly, with their second and third leg athletes so strong. Germany going seven. Sanders, Wagner, Dammermann and Schlegel. Then the Italians, second from the outside. The Italians are another nation who carry the baton well, rather like the Poles when it comes to championships. The Italians go well in relays. Sprint relays and long relays too. And Jamaica will be a real threat too, although no Jamil Hyde in their quartet, the individual winner of the 400 metre hurdles, retaining his title from uh, two years ago. Their squad, Carpenter, Bailey, Thomas and Taylor. So the USA are the defending champions. Botswana are world number ones. And on paper, there is some gap between those two squads on form so far this year, but of course, USA with uh, the second and fifth places from the individual event in their squad will be hard to unseat. Botswana with the world number one in the individual bronze medalist, possibly outpunch them in that respect. They go in six. And don't forget Japan with two finalists from the individual final. So it's India in two, Trinidad and Tobago three, USA in four, Japan five, Botswana six, Germany seven, Italy going eight, and on the outside in nine, Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago already up on the USA. It's a brilliant leg from Jacob St. Hilaire, St. Clair so far. But the American, their champion, Allison, in the headband in lane four, moving away now. Possibly the Americans in the lead, although Jamaica on the outside in the yellow have had a good leg through Anthony Carpenter. 45-44. And it is the USA who lead. Harry Cogdell on this leg from then. Now this is where Botswana with Thebe. On the second leg, really needs to start making inroads. There he is, Neil Black, moving into second place, chasing down the American second leg runner, Cogdell. Thebe needs to make this count. Roars plus Cogdell. Can the American latch onto his coattails? Jamaica in third, Germany going well in fourth, Japan in fifth. And Martin Thebe, this next 100 metres is critical. Well, he's a man who's running on anger. He's the fastest 400 metre runner here. But remember, he was disqualified in the in the individual semi-finals. He really wants to make sure that Botswana go over the gold here. He's run a brilliant leg. He has indeed. Hands over with about a one second lead. From the USA, the gamble for Botswana is their two fastest men on the second and third leg. This is leg three. Sibanda it is, the individual bronze medalist. Third, uh, sixth fastest in the world this year on paper, but the bronze medalist from a couple of days ago is well ahead of the American third leg man, Kamari Montgomery, who was fifth in the individual 400. Jamaica and Japan in third and fourth battling away. I think that's Trinidad and Tobago back in fifth going well. Germany in sixth. But it is Botswana who lead down the home straight. One leg to run, and it may have paid off. Botswana hand over with a big, big lead. Tilani on the 
final leg for them. USA on the final leg have uh, Wilbert London the third, the silver medalist in the individual events. It's wonderfully poised. And I wonder if that little fumble of the baton there between Savander and Talani might cost them. It certainly cost them about two or three metres. London then, the silver medalist, the world number five. He's only the third best American, chasing down Sibanda of Botswana. 200 metres to run, and he's closing with every stride, roaring up onto the shoulder of Zoklani Talani of, of Zimbabwe, of Botswana. Botswana into the straight then. Now, has Talani saved anything? As Wilbert London the third for the USA battles to get past, but what a challenge from Talane! What a response! USA are going to take it. A meter and a half, two meters at the line there. 3:02:40. Jamaica take the bronze. Japan fourth. Germany a brilliant fifth. Trinidad and Tobago sixth. Then India and Italy bringing up the rear. But the USA were irresistible. It's so so nearly paid off margin. You might be right. That little fumble of the baton probably cost them a meter or so. They lost by two meters, but the USA, you just feel, were irresistible. The strength of their squad from leg to leg with the silver medalist on that final leg, having something to shoot at, paid off. And, uh, well, you have to hand it to Botswana, who came here as uh, joint favorites, perhaps, and the way that they strategically placed their runners, Thebe and Sabanda, on legs two and three. Talane didn't quite have the legs on that uh, last 400 meter segment yeah we'll never know the answers will we about uh, Botswana did they get the order right I'm not sure they did there were a couple of men there who could have run even quicker I reckon if they'd had to but I suppose in the end it doesn't really matter very much because what we've seen here in one single race is a microcosm of these championships some outstanding racing and this was a relay which is good as any relay you will watch this is the final changeover, Botswana, with a the healthy lead. Oh, the fumble. I don't think probably in the end that made any difference, the fumble. I think that maybe the order of the... Uh, the running order that they selected may have made a difference, but we don't want to detract anything from the achievement of the States because that was a great final leg by London. But all in all, it was just a, a glorious race, wasn't it? Coming all the way down there to the last 30 metres. Well, Solani, Solani of uh, Botswana worked so hard. They're almost stumbling forward. He'd given 101%, about 15 metres ahead of Jamaica, the uh, bronze medalist. But the USA, well, taking the double in the long relays, it, they were uh, dominant throughout the week when you look at the medal table. Very impressive indeed. And they enjoyed it, this American squad. They are the strongest in the world at senior level, and they certainly are at junior level as well, as things stand. Well, that's it. After six days of competition here in Bidgosh, these World Under-20 Championships have been a revelation. Three world records and as we saw in that 4x400 four meter race, some quite outstanding racing. The United States just getting the better there of Botswana. The Americans finishing top of the medal table.